Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. You may notice something shiny back in the studio after three months. My forehead. There is your forehead, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, either today or one of these days around now, the strike should be off the channel. So, uh, so hopefully after this comes out. Yeah, so we <laughs> start going back to crazy videos. So we can end our uh, protest and we can have the plaque back on display. <laughs> I'm sure it made a huge effect. Yeah. I'm sure it must have been gutted. Yeah, absolutely devastating. It's not even straight. It's <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. yeah, we could have got it straight at least, couldn't we? But All right. <laughs> Next video, that'll be perfect then, thanks to Mike. Uh, yeah, we are the office blokes and subscribe that'll do uh, yeah, in, yeah the, in the spirit of the plaque being back for 100k Absolutely, just yeah. pop us a little Good subscribe message. down there if you aren't subscribed already right then scientists new discovery in space changes everything yeah <laughs> well, they up. this is a it's a new galaxy they found isn't it I don't know if this video is that but right it, but it's a new video that's we were looking for that new galaxy you yeah. were talking yeah. about Maybe it will be, maybe it won't be. Hopefully it will be, otherwise. Yeah. Well, we don't, we don't pre-watch anything, and that's, this is uh, this is proof of it. No, absolutely, yeah. Video. Yeah, I've not heard of that, actually, until uh, Daz said before. Well, well I haven't done it, so, uh, mm. yeah, new to yeah. me. Yeah. I, don't, I don't keep my finger on the space pulse, really, so I don't really... No, I do uh, like space things, though, I do. Yeah, I've watched the news. so interesting. I had the news on in the office, and I was watching it, and it started rambling on, other than Ukraine and Russia. Hmm. Uh, right. This came up in the air as a bit of a bit on it. Fair yeah. enough. Well, let's get into it then. So, scientists' new discovery in space changes everything. Absolutely everything. Black holes are known as the voids in space that eat up everything in their way. A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. It is so weird that even if we happened to fall into a black hole, our bodies would be ripped apart through spaghettification. <laughs> <laughs> He's made that, that up. Well, he must have made that up. <laughs> spaghettification. <laughs> Can you imagine being sat in a meeting with one of these, doing like a, a presentation, and he's talking like he just burst out laughing, wouldn't he? Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, yeah. They're all serious scientists yeah. and you know, yeah. environmentalists yeah. and everything like that, and we come up with a word like that. Thanks uh. to the powerful Hubble, this perspective has changed. Not all black holes are the same. Instead of being death, they can produce life. Yes, you heard it right. Scientists have found a black hole that is creating new stars instead of eating them. Isn't it strange? <laughs> How is it happening? What is this strange new species of black hole? Where did it come from? I'm guessing this you know. isn't the new universe discovery, no. but it doesn't matter because I'm yeah. enjoying it. Uh, I'm enjoying the spa spaghettification of it all. Absolutely, yeah. yeah Where great, did it come great from? Voice over there. <laughs> This and so many other questions about this life-giving black hole will be answered today. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. No. Join us in today's video to find out about the new star creator. Hubble's performance is due in large part to its great altitude above the atmosphere, which eliminates several effects that impede ground-based observers. It has been collecting groundbreaking science observations that have transformed our fundamental knowledge of the universe for almost 31 years now. It made some amazing discoveries, including two moons of Pluto, Nix, and Hydra. The rate at which the universe is expanding created a 3D map of dark matter and the age of the universe that we know today. 13.8 billion years is also because of the Hubble. In this list, Hubble has just added another major discovery by seeing a black hole that is triggering the star formation instead of devouring them. Hubble detected this black hole that is generating stars rather than destroying them in the tiny galaxy Henes 2-10. It's a 30 million light-year dwarf galaxy in the southern constellation Pyxis. 
I bet you. I have no idea what you're hey, about. Hey. I bet you're glad we picked this one on a Monday when you're absolutely knackered and <laughs> been on, the, on the booze all week. <laughs> he doesn't rush with his narration, does he? I mean, if he was reading the menu, I mean, you'd struggle to serve the same evening, wouldn't you? If he was reading the menu, the <laughs> menu. <laughs> According to recent estimations, the dwarf galaxy has a mass of around 10 billion times that of our Sun. The Milky Way, on the other hand, has a mass of around 1.5 trillion solar masses. It's also classified as a starburst galaxy, meaning it has an unusual high rate of star production. This galaxy is known for testing scientists' assumptions. Apparently, the black hole is contributing to the firestorm of new star formation occurring in the galaxy. Galaxies that have active galactic nuclei, small <laughs> regions of the center of a galaxy that emit large amounts of energy. <laughs> what the fuck is he on about? What did I miss? <laughs> right? Uh, what, what did yeah. I miss? What did, what did he say, Ad? Nuclei. Galactic nuclei. Galactic nuclei, yeah. yeah. I'm going to try and get that into a sentence sometime. <laughs> See if I can use it. Blow it yeah. In the form of radio, optical, X-ray, gamma radiation, or high-speed particle jets exhibit black hole-driven outflows. These events probably play a major role in heating and expelling gas, thereby suppressing star formation, as they do in larger galaxies. The Hennies 2-10 black hole, discovered a decade ago, sparked a dispute about whether black holes created in small galaxies are proportionate to enormous black holes seen in larger galaxies. The black hole, which has a mass of one million suns, has also sparked thoughts that black holes develop before galaxies do. The link between black holes, galaxy development, and star formation, on the other hand, is still unknown. According to researchers from NASA's Hubble Telescope, black holes' villainous reputation as destructive creatures enslaving light isn't totally accurate. According to the researchers, new Hubble views of the black hole in Heaney's 2-10 demonstrate that it contributes to the galaxy's firestorm, which is manufacturing new stars at unprecedented rates. NASA also explained why this particular black hole deviates from its own species' irresponsible conduct. Also, the black hole <laughs> in this tiny galaxy is smaller than those analyzed by NASA. Because black holes have such tremendous gravitational attraction, some material that falls into them may be deflected and released as jets due to high magnetic fields. The black this is, sorry, Dave. This is why I don't queue up the videos normally. <laughs> Did you exactly. say you're going to do like start doing videos, just talking and people watching yeah. to send them to sleep? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've listened to this guy, mate. Yeah. Honestly, it's literally what He's I'm going to. It's what I'm going to go for. It's just reading at a really slow, monotone rate, just to send people to sleep. This is shit. Hey, so <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm good with this one for now. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Proof that we don't pre-watch. <laughs> Problems, that one, it? Well, you, oh, get, man. you get your spaghettification out of it. Um, galactic nuclei. Galactic came nuclei. Up with a few sound, but some bats. He's like, like a corporate astrologer, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, yeah he had a few uh, little... I'm going to uh, definitely get oh. that into a sentence this week. And talk to him and say, you know when that... It's a bit like galactic nuclei. And see what the reaction is. <laughs> I think, for me, it yeah. didn't change yeah. everything. <laughs> it didn't. Even change some things. Never even heard. I've never even heard about what he's on about. <laughs> galactic, uh, galactic, galactic nuclear, peanut, no, whatever. You can't win them all, can you? You can't win them all. They're not all Chappelle and uh, yeah, uh, Keen uh, Peel, are they? I keep Dave away from that keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking halfway through that we should have put some Lonely Island on. <laughs> yeah, apology. No offense to the guy who made the video. It's obviously for yeah. scientists and not for us because we are not. We are not. Well, Scientists. Scientifically yeah. minded. Don't know anything about galactic nuclei. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, wow. Um, yeah. Don't no forget to like and subscribe. If you're still with us, hit the bell. And we'll catch you on the next one. Wake up! Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>